everyone, today we're gonna be building a no game pass house. I'm here on my plot. I'm kind of scared because there's a water ghost. <laughs> there's this big patch of water. Again, this is like the second time I'm dealing with this and it's larger than the previous one that I dealt with. Somebody told me that I can fix it by putting a pool over it. You know how they say fight fire with fire? Well, here we fight water with water. Boom. For a no game pass house, we have to make sure to turn off object collisions, AKA advanced placement. We can't go up or down any floors. We also can't use a scale tool. That's also a part of advanced placement. We gotta place all the pillars from beforehand, which means we have to outline the rooms using pillars. <laughs> I'm literally just trying to visualize. <gasps> See, I would have missed the pillar over here if I didn't place it. I gotta like add the walls, visualize, delete the wall, and then place the pillars again. I'm thinking a bathroom could be here. I can change the grid, right? I'm pretty sure I can. Wall over here. I think I'm gonna make a separate room over here. I don't know what this is gonna be. Maybe it's gonna be the dining area. I'm just putting pillars. I'm outlining that this is the entryway. I don't know. I'm putting the pillars over here as well. It's just my style. I like to use pillars. I think I can squeeze a bedroom in there. I kind of want to make this wall bump out in the same way here. I just like the bump out. It's nice. I'm gonna make this like an industrial house because I really like the style of it. If you guys like a lot of color in houses, this house is not gonna be a colorful one. Guess we're gonna try to add the windows. The only thing is that we can't resize them. That's all we have to keep in mind. I'm gonna grab the modern reveal pivoting front door, place it over here, and just keep adding these windows. Oh, I gotta exit build mode real quick because the walls are like separate. Two over here. If this is gonna be the kitchen, we have to be very careful with the windows, I think. Specifically specifically because the counters and the windows might be glitchy together. Wait, how do you enter the bedroom and the bathroom? It would be kind of cool if you enter it from over here. It's like a little hot spot with all the doors. Let's keep adding some more windows. We can't do like a lifted porch because we can't really lift the door. This would mean that I'm using advanced placement. I can just press it though. That doesn't seem right. Oh, see, it disabled my advanced placement. I'm so confused. When did I unpress this? Did I mess something up at any point? I'm like replacing every single door because I'm paranoid. I'm so scared. Okay, well look, the windows are literally placing in the exact same place. This also seems to place just fine. I'm gonna add some more of this dirt grass over here. Oh, I'm gonna wrap it around here. Let's do a backyard and a pool. I would love that. It won't let me place this tall woven fence against this pillar. That is so rude. I can't place this one either. It lets me put this tight in fence though. It also allows this fence. You know what? Since it allows this fence, I'm just gonna go for it. We're gonna put a small pool in this corner. I'm very curious. If I place a roof, am I able to place a pillar? I can't place a pillar underneath it. This is the first roof that I want to place. Slightly thick. I'm going to make the secondary roof be thinner than the first one. I'm going to place these even thinner ones over here. Let's just recolor the roofs. Let's see how the wall trim situation is going to be. Is there going to be any problem? We can place the wall trim without an issue. So I'm going to put this all around the house. Because it's really dark, I think we should place some lighting. This one's pretty good for light. I'm going to put it like in the center and we're going to recolor this one to be flint lighting. For the rest of the lighting, I think I'm just going to use this geometric chandelier. And I'll just use like three per room. I wish I could resize it so this one droops a little lower than the others, but that is not available to us. We're gonna grab this industrial bench. I'm gonna change the grid size. We're gonna have to try to be careful with our placement. I'm trying to place the pillows. It looks like it's going okay. Place one. I can place two. Can I put a bolster pillow here? I mean, I don't know why you would need a bolster pillow. We cannot resize the carpet. So whatever we choose, it has to be like that. Okay, maybe I'm not gonna use that carpet. Maybe I can just put this simple carpet right here. Yeah, that kind of works. I wanna put a table on top of the carpet. Our hat stand can just be like right here. Oh yeah, we should also put our umbrella stand. We'll place this one over here. I think I figured out why my advanced placement like goes away. If you have advanced placement and you like turned it off, if you exit build mode and you go back in, look at that. It just like put it back again. So it doesn't save your decision like in their system. When you exit build mode, it just comes back on automatically. The last few touches I want to do for our entryway is I want to add a shelf, but I cannot because it's too wide. I can add this one, but this one ain't even nice. It's just way too sharp. Like you could hit your eye on this. I found a solution that looks good. How are we going to fit the decorations in there? Is it going to cause a problem? Let's see. We're we're gonna grab the books. Uh oh, I'm getting scared. Rotate them. <laughs> it looks like we can place them. These are the small things that are bugging me though. I'm like, please just place, please. But it's like, no, I will not. I did a lot for this entryway. I'm surprised with the amount of stuff that I was able to put. There's still one more thing. I'm doing too much, I'm doing too much, but I want a floor mirror. I really like floor mirrors. There we go. Now we're gonna move on to our living room. One good thing is that we have a completely empty wall here. Well, almost empty. It means that we're probably gonna be able to place a wall mounted TV. I, I think you can't use these 
sectional sofas, right? Let's just test this out. We got this one over here. Oh yeah, you can. So that's nice. We need a little coffee table. I think I'm just gonna go for this modern one. Looks very fancy. I think this is actually a really fun challenge to see how much decoration can you do in a no game pass house? Like how nice can you make it? We need an end table for sure. Oh, and a floor plant. Yeah, let's grab a floor plant. I wanna use this linear one. I've been using a lot of this. We're still not done with the living room. I'm gonna put a console table. I think I'll just use this industrial one. It fits pretty well. Over in this corner, it just feels like it's missing something. So I think I'm gonna put some more shelving. That looks so much better. I added these lights over here. It really helps you focus in on the TV. And I'll just put another chair over here. I'm gonna use this tall painting on both ends of the window. This is our living room. And now we're gonna move on to the kitchen. Every time I've seen people do the kitchen, it's always been a pain with no game passes. I'm gonna use the modern counters. Oh no, oh no, I'm already seeing problems. Two counters over here. You need advanced placement to put the fridge in the fridge cabinet. Can we put the microwave in the shelf cabinet? Why am I feeling like no? If you can't put the fridge in the fridge cabinet, then why would you be able to put the, oh, that's one good thing going for us. Let's not forget the stove. We'll put the fridge like somewhere around here. Oh, it feels so naked without a fridge cabinet. We need a fridge cabinet. I don't like this. How are we supposed to place these things? Can we place the fridge over here? No, there's no space. Why not? It would fit so perfectly. This is a pain. Whoa, we can connect it like this. Everything has been saved. Did you see that? I'm actually so happy about that. For a second, I wanted to resize this vine plant and then I was like, no, no, you can't do that. No resizing. I don't know what else to do. I'm just putting random books over here. We're missing the rest of our appliances. Toaster, coffee maker, blender. We could put just a bunch of spices up here. Look, it lets us put multiple. I don't know if it looks stupid to put all these books up here. That's our kitchen. And now we're gonna move on to our dining area. I'm gonna choose the trendy round dining table and I'm gonna put four industrial chairs. I wonder if we can put our placemats with plates on top. It worked. I also wanna give them this round carpet. I mean, I wish I could resize it, but it's okay. I think we just need a little bit more decor and we're gonna be done with this room. I decided I'm gonna use this nightstand cause it actually fits and it doesn't block the door as you can see. This is our dining area. Now we're gonna move on to the bathroom. We are running into some issues. Like we can't really place the hygienic shower in the corner. Maybe if we put the grid and we place it carefully as close to the wall as I can get it. Oh no, I wanted to do our horizontal mirror where I like resize it and I make it really tall, but we can't do that because we can't resize anything. Maybe in that case, we could just use this round mirror. Our toilet goes here. Here's our toilet paper. We're gonna put our bathroom carpet here, which means we need to sort of nudge the toilet a little bit. I was thinking we could maybe put an arched inset. I know that we can't resize it, but maybe we can still, you know, decorate it, make it look nice. We cannot decorate it, not in the way that I want to. It looks like it's about to fall. Oh, we can place the soap though. We can also place these oil bottles and make it look like soap. I think that looks nice. I guess the last bit of decoration that we can do for the bathroom is grabbing this ladder shelf. We could put some toilet paper on this, not too close to each other because it won't let us. I can kind of place the towels like this. They look like they might fall, but maybe it's not that obvious. This is our bathroom and now we're gonna move on to the final room, the bedroom. I hope the bedroom won't be a pain. It looks kind of cozy in here. I like this view you have of the little garden part. I'm gonna place this industrial desk here. They can just like barely fit. I'm gonna give them the pairing tosh and also this little table lamp. Actually, I'll put it on this side and we're gonna kind of treat the desk as a nightstand. So I'm gonna put the alarm clock here. I feel like that's realistic. I guess we could just have these two shelves over here. On top of the bed, we could have a painting. Here's our completed bedroom. And now what is left is our backyard. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a couple of these compact bushes. I can't resize them. Ooh, and I can't really squeeze them over here either. I think for the rest of these parts, I'm just gonna put like cactuses. And then we could add this tree over here. We're gonna use a stepping stone and just sort of separate them like this. I'm just gonna finalize the backyard with a couple of flowers and that's gonna be it. The total value of our no game pass house is 85,000. And here's the surroundings of the house. I think it's not a bad challenge. I like it. I feel like if you do a no game pass suburban house, it's probably harder. Maybe because I went for something more modern industrial, maybe because of that, it was a little bit easier for me. The hardest part was the kitchen. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Love you guys so much. Bye.